Hashimoto Tsuri Komigoshi, one handed. Let's start with the trip. Hashimoto usually does it against um, enemies who grab the lapel on one side. You have multiple options how to grip with your left hand in this case. You can do a thumb to yourself grip, classical thumb to your opponent, or pocket grip, pistol grip, a lot of stuff. Hashimoto pretty much never does this one with the thumb to himself. It's a very strong grip for um, Tsuri Komikoshi style throws, but it's also quite obvious. If I grip like this, everybody's going to know I want to do something in this direction. Pocket grip works, pistol grip works. Hashimoto uses both. But what he does the most is more or less a classic grip, but in a variation. He doesn't take a grip on this side or at the bottom. Instead, he reaches all the way around and almost goes on top of the arm. And then twists it around a bit so that he has a strong grip here. The second hand doesn't do much, it's only a feint. I go up on his shoulder and I more or less just slap it. All I want is his reaction to bring up his shoulder a little bit and stiffen up a little bit. If he doesn't do that, I can just grab him, pull him down, pull him towards me. He's not going to want that. So I just do this and get a reaction. And that's all that hand has to do. The feet now, I start with a step towards him. Then I bring my back leg um, uh, next to it. Now I want to go in between his legs and far behind his foot. I don't do that perfectly all the time, but that's the goal. When I'm here, now I bring in my hip and the second foot with the second step. So from here, I go again. Paint, step, step in, pull in the second leg, and then you can lift him up. The biggest difference to a classical two-handed tsurikomigoshi is up here in my arm or in my shoulder. With a classic two-handed, I usually want to do some kind of uh, motion where I get my shoulder in all the way, get him over my shoulder, and then lift him up here. Hashimoto mm, does that when he does a two-handed tsuri. He doesn't do it with a one-handed one. What he does instead is he only brings in his elbow and the shoulder stays out. Now this hand pulls down to my, to my ribs, essentially. This has a few advantages. The main advantage is if I do this one-handed and pull him over my shoulder, this is almost always going to be an arm lock. And that is not a good thing, at least in current judo rules. If I pull him over here, his arm is pretty much always going to turn. His elbow is no longer in danger of being locked. His shoulder is free as well. And I can rotate him over there. So that's the main or the most important point you have to look out for if you do this one-handed. You keep your shoulder outside and you pull the arm towards your ribs. If you do this here and then start to push it up, then it's also going to be an arm lock. So just Shoulder free, pin it to your ribs, and then you can go. Variations um, are in the second hand. Hashimoto essentially does one of three things. First thing is he does nothing with this hand, except for the paint. He just goes in and throws. Helped a little bit with the elbow there, doesn't matter. So he does nothing. Second uh, option is to go uh, on his arm with the second hand and just pull this in a little bit more. If you do this, you don't need, really need to grab anything. You just hook over his lower arm and pull it in. So, in my feint, I go in. That's my personal favorite variation because you get more strength into the arm. Third thing he does is 
He uses the arm to post and to stop himself from falling on his head. So, goes in here, he starts the throw, and just goes down with one hand. That makes it easier to really bring your head down and get really low with your upper body. If I do this without the hand, there's pretty much a, yeah, a pretty big risk that I go head first into the ground, which is both not really loud and quite uncomfortable. So, put your hand down, and that helps you stabilize. And that's Hashimoto's Tsurikomibashi. Have fun. Okay, now the same throw by Hashimoto himself in white. And from this angle you can quite nicely see what he does with this hand, the feint, and then he posts on the ground to keep his balance. And you can see how he goes in with the feet. At one point you can also see the grip a little bit, not perfectly, but eh, well enough. So the first thing he does, he goes for the feint. Ah, that's a nice picture. He goes for the feint up over the arm on the shoulder. And the reaction he gets is his opponent pushes him away a little bit. He takes a step back with this foot and he stiffens up a little bit. So he has taken a step back, he pushed him away. And here you can see Hashimoto has an inside grip, so he's not on the bottom or on the outside of the, um, of the sleeve. Instead, he has reached around inside into the arm and then has a grip on the inside at the forearm. Now he does a little jump because that's simply faster. And now this foot is going to go next to this one, maybe a little bit behind it. It's a little bit hard to see because he lifts him up at the same time. There he is. Then he pushes the hip through. You can see here he's lifting the front foot up now because now his weight is on his back foot and he can take the front foot back. Pulls him over. Now this hand pulls down and then at the last moment he pulls it into his ribs. There's a little bit of variation. Sometimes he pulls the arm further away from him. Most of the time he pulls it close to his ribs. Both ways work. Now he posts down with this hand on the mat to keep his balance and brings his head very low. There is the post. Head is very low. Now the hand moves in towards the ribs. And over he goes. So once more, you have the feint, feet come in, hand posts on the ground, and that's it. And here we have a second example from another angle. In this angle you can clearly see Hashimoto's shoulder and a different variation of what he does with this hand. So. It starts with a little bit of a different feint because his opponent is holding his hand. So he can't go on the shoulder. Instead, the feint is just a push forward on that hand and a push into him with this shoulder. Now he lets go. And he has more or less the same reaction. Um, Yatsev here is squared out a little bit. His feet are more or less parallel. And he's a little bit bent forward. And he has a little bit of force. He's pushing forward a little bit. So he lets go with that hand, he starts going in with the feet. And you can, in this picture you can nicely see that his hip is twisted compared to his feet. So he has his hip turned in further than his feet. His second hand is going on top of the arm. He's using both of them um, to pull in. Here you can even better have an even better look at Hamidham. Okay, so now this is the second example. From this angle you can nicely see um, what Hashimoto does with this arm, especially with his shoulder, that the shoulder stays free. And you have a second variation of what he does with his right hand. So the feint is a little bit different because Yartsev is holding the hand, or Hashimoto is holding his hand, they're both holding hands. And Hashimoto, instead of going over on the shoulder, he just pushes into it and pushes into him with his shoulder. And he gets more or less the same reaction, squared of feet and a stiff opponent who is pushing forward a little bit. So now he has it, the, the feet are parallel more or less and Hashimoto goes in. And you can see from Yatsev's hands that he was pushing forward. 
Now the feet go in and here you can quite nicely see that his uh, Hashimoto's feet and his hip, they are not squared off. They're not both pointing in the same direction. His feet are more or less pointing forward, but his hip is twisted in and turned in far more. The second hand is here on, um, on the same arm and he uses both of them to pull the arm forward, down and then in. And in this picture you can very, very nicely see that Hashimoto's shoulder is not under Yatsev's shoulder. Instead he's pulling the arm over his own upper arm. And his shoulder stays free for the whole throw. Now you can see he has pulled in the arm all the way, the shoulder is still free and Yatsev goes over. Let's see that again. So you have the feint, he goes in, uses both hands, shoulder stays free all the time, and that's the throw.